Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Note 3 root.com. Today I'm going to attempt to uh, run my AT&T uh, car, SIM card, uh, on my Verizon Note 3. Also, this will pretty much allow you to use your Verizon Note 3 as a world phone. So let's go ahead and do it. First, you'll need a rooted Verizon Note 3, most likely. Uh, but we'll see if we need it or not. This is actually my first time doing it. I'm just recording just in case I do it right the first time. Uh, I have a custom ROM, but this, you know, stock ROM, uh, anything TouchWiz based, um, also AOSP should work when the AOSP ROMs come out. Uh, first thing you want to do is go go to mobile networks, change network mode to GSM UMTS. All right, and then we're going to turn off our phone, and I'm going to go ahead and pull the existing Verizon SIM card. Make sure you put it somewhere safe; you don't lose it. And then I'm going to go ahead and insert uh, AT&T or you know any any GSM carrier you want to use with your Verizon Note 3. And I'm going to go ahead and power it on. And when you do put your Verizon uh, SIM card back in, make sure you change the network mode back to uh, CDMA LTE uh, instead of the GSM we just switched to. All right, I'm going to let it boot here. And basically what we're going to do is um, try to add a new APN, uh, basically the AT&T APN. For those of you who don't know what APN is, APN is basically a settings um, that will allow your phone to connect to your carrier for your data, such as uh, HSPA Plus 4G LTE. Now, uh, if you don't know the APN settings for your carrier, go Google it. Um, just go Google AT&T 4G LTE. APN settings and uh, you'll see it but I know um, how to do it um, so for at and I can show you uh, how I do it all right I'm not getting any signal here um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to settings and by the way this phone uh, is not locked uh, as you can see I put a new sim card I did not unlock my phone I do not get a sim unlock uh, thing here so it should be fine it's asking me for a global mode so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to global mode which should automatically uh, put it into the right mode anyways all right all right so I'm gonna go ahead and oh actually just put it in global mode I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, ATT name doesn't matter and I'm gonna go ahead and put the APN for uh, AT&T 4G LTE uh, which is uh, basically just type PTA and if you need to set um, if you want to get your uh, MMS working you'll have to set additional stuff but just to get your data working uh, HSPA plus or 4G I don't know if it, this phone supports 4G LTE you just need to put PTA that's what I do and I don't really use MMS I use Google Voice and once that's done I'm just gonna go ahead and set it ooh boom shot vlogger so actually you do not need a root for this um, you get whoops, you get HSPA out of the box here. Um, so one uh, kudos that I'll give Verizon um, for letting us do this easily. And then you have to sign in again there for Samsung there account obviously because it detected your phone number changed. So my 411 is working and my 4G LTE is not picking up and I get great 4G LTE signals here in my basement office. Let me actually go ahead and sign in, just, this is annoying. Anyway, I was going to tell you that uh, kudos to Verizon for not uh, locking the APN with the Note 2. Uh, and the, uh, with the Note 2, what Verizon did is that uh, if you go to mobile networks, a access point names, you can add any more APN names. Now with this version, um, you can easily add it. Uh, if you want to go back to Verizon, it is very simple. Um, go ahead and plug the Verizon, well, you know what, I'll just show you real quick. Um, so I get HSPA Plus just fine, and also let me do a speed test real quick, um, just to prove you to that I'm getting uh, AT&T speeds here. Now I think the problem is the 4G LT, um, the bands that Verizon uses, is not compatible with uh, AT&T. That's why we're not getting 4G LTE. So, you know, it might work if you live uh, in the Europe or something. Uh, for some reason, it's not loading. But let me go ahead and just type something here. And my internet is working. Um, speed test is just taking forever finding the server here. 
Okay, for some reason it's not picking up, so I'm gonna just go ahead and pick Palo Alto, which is pretty much the test location every time I run speed test. And there you go. And I'm getting almost six, seven, which is normal, uh, pretty good here. So I get pretty good HSBA plus, um, sometimes faster than 4 GLT. Let me go ahead and show you how to switch it back to Verizon. So let's say you went to another country, um, you bought one of those SIM cards, prepaid SIM cards in Thailand, and uh, you figured out how to add APN, and you come back to the States, and you're at the airports, your, uh, your air, airline is landing, but you turn your phone on because, um, you know, you're rebellious or something, and uh, you start tweaking, uh, you turn on your phone here while your airplane is parking, and by the time you get out of your airplane, you should be back on Verizon. So let's go do this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and boot my phone here. So with the Note 3, um, even though Verizon locked the bootloader, they didn't lock the APN, uh, which is awesome. So definitely kudos for that, but not kudos for locking the bootloader. They should really stop that because it doesn't really serve any purpose. Uh, people are going to figure out how to unlock it anyways. Uh, it's just going to give them bad rep. Um, and that's why a lot of developers, you know, don't like block bootloaders. And, you know, it just makes everything super tough. All right. And actually, no, you don't have to do anything. It just picks up uh, 4G LTE. So most of the time, you, it should switch back automatically. But for some reason, if it doesn't, go to mobile networks, uh, go to access point names, and choose Verizon Internet again. Make sure that thing is green. Make sure it's green. Sometimes it's not selected. It's just empty. Um, then it's not going to work. And then now I have to sign up for, uh, sign into my thing again there. Um, also, I guess I guess you can just leave it on global, and that will get you on either LTE and uh, GSM. So pretty cool stuff. It's a complete world phone that can go on Verizon's CDMA and GSM. So this phone is pretty awesome in that regards. Anyway, that was just uh, first video I made um, while doing this, but it does work just fine with AT&T. You will just not get 4G LTE. And if this video has helped you um, use your GSM carrier on your Verizon Note 3, um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also um, subscribe to my email list at uh, galaxynote3root.com. We update you once a week uh, with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.